What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. Oh fuck, there's a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just notice that now? Because of reasons? Like yeah, it doesn't have like sirens on the top, but it literally says NYPD on the side. It's okay. Okay, officer, we're just smuggling drugs. Solely drugs, officer. Not in more. <laughs> You see, Reyes, this is why we got pulled over the last fucking time! <laughs> but it's funny though, he kept on looking at me. I was just like, it's just drugs, sir. It's just drugs. They don't kill anyone if you take too much of it. Just for future reference, if you see the cameras bouncing around a lot, why we're not centered, it's because of reasons. Well, it's very obvious. You're driving a car. I know. Continue for seven miles. Well, apparently we're continuing for seven miles. Oh boy. And you binged. I will bing all day. So, we're heading to PNC. Yeah. Would you like to let them know who we're seeing? So, today, we are watching Bad Wolves, Nothing More, Five Finger Death Punch, and Breaking Benjamin. In that order. How hyped are we? I'm on four hours of sleep, and this is still the greatest moment so far. <laughs> and this is going to be my third, my third? Yeah, my third time watching Breaking Benjamin, second time watching Five Finger, and first time for Bad Wolves and nothing more. Well, I mean, we've seen well, not necessarily seen Bad Wolves, but we've seen Tommy Vexed. Well, yeah, we've met Tommy Vexed. Yeah. So, yeah, we've been looking forward to this for quite a while. I think we prepared... We prepared five months just for this. We told our jobs, Fuck off! Aw, oh, dear. <laughs> we told them that. We said, Oh, dear, fuck off! <laughs> and give us these days off. I know, I did. I, I did it five months in advance. And that's it. Nothing else. Well, I told my job last week. I'm like, I'm not working Saturday. In a nutshell. So, but right now, I'm so hyped. Um, I said it in the previous video that I've done on my channel that I am a diehard Breaking Benjamin fan. So, third time watching Breaking Benjamin. It's phenomenal. Can't wait. Five Freak Death Punch, huge fan. Can't wait for that either. Nothing uh, more. That's the one band that fucking set me set me loose for I'm like, I'm like, five finger going, going, going. <laughs> and so, it's actually the second time we've actually I think it was PNC we saw Five Finger the last time. Yep. Hopefully. Uh, yep. if you ha haven't seen the last video where me and Ray's were actually doing this, that was actually back in the Nerds at War days. Mm-hmm. That video is up on the Nerds at War Facebook page, if that's still active. Uh it's not active, but it's probably still there. Yeah, it's still floating around. <laughs> But, so far, I'm really excited because both bands have new material, well, correction. Breaking Benjamin, the Five Fingers Death Punch has new, new material. Album, new albums out all together. So, I'm very curious what songs they're going to add in. Because again, these are bands with long history in the music industry. So well, Five Finger has been around since uh, since '05. Mm -hmm. ben Breaking Benjamin, I'm sure, has been around for how long? '98. '98 was when they started. Yeah. They had this. And Bad Wolves is fresh. Yeah, Bad Wolves is fresh. Bad Wolves started this year, I think. I think yeah, this year or last year. Um, I want to say last late last year. And then they released the album this year. Yeah. Well, interesting thing about uh, Bad Wolves, Tommy Vex was actually originally in Westfield Massacre. Wasn't he the founder of Westfield Massacre? I don't, uh, mm, yeah, actually, that I remember. It was him, Tim Young, they started Westfield, they got new members, and now he's no, not there anymore. But it's whatever. Tommy Vex is doing amazing stuff with Bad Wolves. You know, they just got their platinum for their cover of Zombie. That cover was fucking amazing. So, I'm, I'm excited for them. I'm glad that they're doing great. You know, I'll, they're getting a lot of good feedback. And hopefully they just stick to it and make more kick-ass music. But, 
right now, I want to know what is the one newest song from both Five Finger and Breaking Benjamin that you want to hear live? That I want to hear live? Yeah. And we're talking like their new material. Mm hmm. Alright, as far as Five Finger is concerned, the songs I want to friggin' hear would be. Now, I know this song was a cover, but I want to hear Blue on Black. That's a good one. Another one from them I want to hear was their, the actual, their single off the album, uh, Champagne. Champagne? Yeah, they had a song called Champagne, S-H-A-M-P-A. It was like when they were shitting on the record, when they shit on the record label and whatnot. You didn't hear that song? Champagne? Yeah. But I talking about, um, Shame Pain? Yeah, that one. It's not Champagne. I got it on my iPod right now. Who are you going to tell? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's called... Wait, is it called Champagne? It's called Champagne. I thought it was called sh um, Champagne. No, Champagne. Because if you, if you remember from the freaking uh, lyrics, they say the phrase, it's all Champagne. I don't remember that. Alright, look. And justice for none. Champagne. Right there. Because I thought it said, um, sh um, you know, whatever, I'm, I'm dumb. Ray's had a brain fart. <laughs> I am dumb. But, but, like, one of the heaviest songs that I really want to hear, um, hold on. This is, you're not a true fan! I am a true fan! Don't <laughs> fucking bullshit with me. You're not a true fan, you don't know. I'm sorry, I gotta look at my fucking iPod while I'm driving. <laughs> you're not a true fan! <laughs> Will the sun ever rise? That's a good one too. Now, as far as Breaking Benjamin, I want to fucking hear Psycho. Alright, so, I follow Breaking Benjamin on YouTube. In two miles, take the exit to where you can But, I follow Breaking Benjamin on YouTube, and that is a song that they usually do live, so hopefully they do it today. Um, I know, personally, as long as I can hear rock bottom and it doesn't matter my five fingers that much I'll be very happy oh, that, that. I want to hear rock bottom but like I want everyone who's like not in the seat area to start doing rock bottoms on everyone like the rock I still I, you know, I, wonder, I wonder if somebody did, did this video on YouTube where they had the song rock bottom playing and every time they said the phrase rock bottom all they had in, in place of that video was a video of the rock actually playing but that rock would be bottom. amazing that, that should be The Rock's new theme song, Rock Bottom. But yeah, Breaking Benjamin, they have this one song. It starts with a T, I can never pronounce it correctly. I want to hear that song live. Um, it's like some long word for some odd reason. But that, um, Feed the Wolf, I definitely yeah, want to hear that live. Um, I want to hear the whole album live. <laughs> just, just, just fucking just play all your songs, Brady Benjamin. I'll be there. Every song, including the, the bonus tracks you released. As far Blow as. me away! <laughs> it's funny because it's not even on an official album and they play that song. I think that was, just a sound, that was just a soundtrack for Halo 2, no? Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, Goddamn slow zones! But I. I'm so excited. Bad Wolves. Um, it's so funny because I've seen Tommy Vex and like all his other bands, but Bad Wolves, so this would be like another hitter. So, mm. I, I, I have, a, you know, the thing is with Bad Wolves, I know, I've, being that they only have one album and the album only have, what, 10 tracks? Take the exit I think so. The odds are they can play a majority of what they have out, if not the whole goddamn album what they got. Probably. Um, I'm more interested in their heavier works than... Although I love the song Remember When. Remember When is a good one. I like that song. The funny um, thing is, I had no idea he had a twin brother. Yeah, that's a the very powerful story to that. Right south, then keep right. I feel like... Bad Wolves? Like, I don't know, I'm very open about this. Um, I liked 
Westfield Massacre a lot more than Bad Wolves. Well, Westfield was a lot heavier. Yeah, that's the thing. I liked it because it was a lot more heavier. Um, that also had Tim Young, for anyone who doesn't know. Keep Tim right. What? But Tim Young was pretty much, he was the drummer of Morbid Angel and Divine Heresy, which that's where Tommy Vex got his original start before the actual band Vex, before they redid Vex. And I loved fucking Westfield Massacre. Oh, yeah. I love Tim Young. I think he's a the fact, phenomenal the fact, drummer. The fact that they booted Vex out of Westfield... I, I find that really fucked up. It's, it is, but it worked out so much better for him. No, I, I agree with you, but I'm just saying it was just fucked up, the, fucked up the way they did it. Because they started Westfield Massacre first, and then um, Bad Wolf started up on the side, and he was doing two bands at once, and Westfield felt like, I don't know, they, they probably felt super salty about that. So, what happened was that they decided, like, hey, you know, could you keep on doing your other thing with Bad Wolves, we have to let you go and stuff like that. And So they wanted him solely yeah. with Westfield. But you know what, like I said, everything works out for a reason because you know what? When he, uh, when they kicked him out, he joined Bad Wolves permanently, obviously. They toured, they got signed to, um, what's his face's record label? Wasn't it, wasn't it Zoltan's? Yeah, Zoltan, um, 11-7, and they're doing so much better. So much. Hell yes. You know, they already traveled most of the world already. You know, due to Zoltan and stuff like that. Um, Tommy had so many, like, opportunities to, like, get bad wolves out there. Let's put it this way. Tommy did a lot as far as, like, getting his name out there alone, along with bad wolves. Yeah. I mean, hell, when freaking Ivan Moody was going through his uh, spat with going through rehab and everything, he filled in. And from the stuff that I heard that he did, like, as far as, like, when he was covering, it sounded fucking amazing. Yeah. Tommy Vex killed it. And hopefully, it's probably going to happen. Sometime tonight, Tommy Vex is going to join up with um, Five Finger Death Punch and then probably going to be banging out all that stuff. Now, in this video, I'm going to try to include at least as much as I can of the shows. And luckily, being small YouTubers, we can get away with just about anything. Yep. Yep. Granted, I might get copyright notices, but at this point, I really don't give a shit. It's not like I'm getting paid for it. It's true. I know, because when I do my new series, Ray's Reacts, when I react to music videos and music, I get hit with those all the time, but they don't take down my videos. They'll be like, hey, just letting you know, this music's copyright. It's like, yep, I know. I'm not going to monetize it. Left at the floor. But I don't see... Oh, that's the fork. Okay, never mind. But there's no actual fork in the road! You're a fork. You're a dildo. Yep. Alright, so how about... What got you into... Listening to... Uh, Fuck you! Hope that fucker falls into a ditch. The guy is speeding, and he wants to blame you for turning while he's speeding. Goddamn Jersey drivers. Alright, so what got you into Breaking Benjamin? Oof. Oof. That's a oof. So, at the time, I. How can I explain this? Because that's such like a heavy hitter question for me. I was not really introduced to metal or rock growing up because I lived in a household where it's mainly gospel and rap music. So gospel and rap? Yeah. So I mean I can see the gospel, I just don't understand where the fucking rap comes from. My cousins. Okay. <laughs> so I lived with my cousins and my grandma and my mom and stuff like that. So it was made like no one in my household really listened to rock or metal. Mm -hmm. So 
I was back at the times when I actually had cable. I don't have cable anymore. But I randomly hit up a channel called Fuse. I didn't know what it was. Oh, I remember Fuse. Mm-hmm. Fuse was the shit back in the day. It really was. So I got hit. It was what MTV used to be. Yes. So I randomly put it on and they were doing like a countdown list thing for music. And I love, I love list videos. I'm a sucker, but fuck, fuck Watch Mojo. They're terrible and they're super biased. But anyway, I had to put that plug in. But, so they were doing the countdown list and the first song I heard from them was Sooner or Later. And at first I was just like, what is this? Like I never heard the sound before because I really wasn't introduced to rock or metal. So when I heard it, I was instantly sucked in. I was like, this is so different. And I was like, it doesn't sound the same like other, you know, rap mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, and then I heard his voice and fucking my ear holes was infected by glorious vocals. And from there, I was just like, who is this band? So like, um, when it came up at the end again, because I missed the beginning part. Mm -hmm. So when it came up at the end, it was like, Breaking Benjamin sooner or later, um, album We Are Not Alone. Saw that, and like, I remember, I don't know if you remember, there was a store back in the day called Coconuts on Forest Avenue, well, if you're in Staten, Staten Island, it was on Forest Avenue where, um, you know where the T-Mobile spot was? Yeah. So, before it was T-Mobile, and it was an FYE, but before it was an FYE... FYE, I remember, but they were... Uh, FYE before, was kind of rip offish. Yeah, before it was FYE, it was called Coconuts, which was another music store. I remember going to the music store with my grandma, and I was just like, I need to find this Breaking Benjamin CD. So, my grandma got it for me, and like, that was actually the first time I heard So Cold was on the album, and then I realized they did a video for it. So, I was just like, You're so cold, <laughs> your hand in mine. I was just like, this is amazing. Why didn't anyone introduce me to this? So, and the, the funny thing is too, being raised on horror movies and stuff like that, I only heard this type of music from background music. Mm. So when I actually had it full, you know, fledged in my face, I was like, holy shit, this is so much better than rap. <laughs> and like, from there, I was just, I was sucked in. Mm. I was sucked in instantly, you know? Cause I remember the first band I ever heard in my life was Seether, ah. the song Remedy in 05. Was it 05? No, no, 04. So, again, very sheltered. I wasn't introduced to rock or metal. So, besides it being background music. He came out as a shell. <laughs> so, Seether is what got me, like, peaked into, like, watching, like, rock music and stuff like that. But Breaking Benjamin is what got me sold on it. So, like, from there, like, I just followed Breaking Benjamin religiously, and if it wasn't for Breaking Benjamin, I would have never picked up bass, I would have never picked up guitar, I would have never done any vocals, like, pretty much my whole music career is because of Breaking Benjamin, and that's why I love Breaking Benjamin so much, so, but you, what got you into Five Finger, because I actually don't know that story. Alright, so here's the whole story, like, that's gonna lead into, like, what got, what mainly got me into rock. Let's put this way. Back in middle school, I was always listening to rap and hip, rap and hip hop. But that was starting to slowly change when I got into high school. So when I was hanging out with you, Anthony, and everybody, I started listening to more metal. But the, I remember the first band I ever listened to, as far as metal wise, was Disturbed. Now I'm a huge. You know how big of a Disturbed fan I am. Yep. I am a die-hard fucking Disturbed fan. I'm a Disturbed one through and through. But it was one of the music videos I was watching on YouTube. Uh, I think it was Down With The Sickness. And on the side, I saw the video for uh, The Bleeding from Five Finger Death Punch. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm look, I've am i seen that come up every single time that I was watching a Disturbed video, and I'm like, 
what band names their band Five Finger Death Punch? I got curious enough where I, like, after, like, seeing it come up about six or seven times where I was just like, fuck it, let me watch it. And after that, after watching that music video, after hearing their sound, I was sold. And I think I was the one that got you into Five Finger, wasn't I? No. Oh, it wasn't? Nope. <laughs> I remember how I found Five Finger Death Punch, which it, it, we kind of did the similar thing where I saw Five Finger Death Punch and Fuse, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, that was literally my initial reaction, just, what the fuck? Like, what kind of band name is Five Finger Death Punch? And then I watched the music video, and me, being a musician, I was just like, I saw like the lead guitarist, he was playing a PC Rich, I was like, who the fuck plays a PC Rich? And then, <laughs> you know, I was like starting to get like mad, like hyped about this, like, what? They better be good. So then the lead kicks in, I was like, oh, this lead is nice. And then, mind you, this is the music video version, so, the whole like, um, da, 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 like that whole beginning is not in the music video, so it kicks into you know, the first verse, and I was just like, what? <laughs> I was just like, his voice is like great, and it's manly, <laughs> and it's magical, and then like he's, then the whole chorus kicked in, and then he started screaming. I was like, oh, <laughs> and it was just great. I was just like, all right, I'm sold, and then. I, I wasn't, like, I was sold on the bleeding, like that song in Oh yeah. But I was just like, I wish they made heavier music. And, and they then, did. And they did, when I saw the Way of the Fist uh, music video. The Way of the Fist was fucking awesome. And I was just like, what? <laughs> I was like, this is amazing. I was like, they're so much heavier than I thought. So, when I saw that, I was just like, boy. <laughs> I was like, yes. And then, in Kingland, um, use the right two lanes to take exit 116 toward PNC Bank Arm Center. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, so, then, um, Never Enough came out, and I was just like, and that was a bonus track. That wasn't even like in the on the like the original. That was a bonus track. No, I'm pretty sure that was on the album. Alright, back to it. <coughs> One, two, three, four. Alright, we're closing in on PNC. Yeah, so I double checked. Never Enough it was actually an official song off the album. So, yeah, I was right. <laughs> Alright, I'll, listen, I'll, I'll admit when I'm wrong. Take your bell, boy. <laughs> <laughs> In a quarter mile, use the right two lanes to take exit 116 toward PNC Bank Arm Center. I'm just super hyped. Can't wait. And like, again, Five Finger Death Punch has so many songs. And if I remember, I think the first time we saw Five Finger was at the Mayhem right Fest. Two lanes to take exit yes. 116. Also at PNC. Yep. So. And I remember as soon as they started, they started with um, Under and Over It. Turn left onto Garden State Art Center. So they started with Under and Over It. And as soon as they kicked in, just PA's broken. Cause you we know missed, what? what was it, three songs? Two or three songs? What do you mean? When the PA went out, they, they still played, but the only thing is the PA was out. Yeah, because the thing was that Ivan didn't catch it till like halfway during the first song, and he was just like, "What?" <laughs> and then he started turning around the monitors, and like, I'm like, "Please don't do that. That's how you cost me back." But <laughs> coming from a sound guy, I was like, "Oh, okay." So, but yeah, no, it was fun. Goddamn orange vest, veil vest, whatever the fuck vest. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was orange. I don't give a fuck! <laughs> Seen five finger death punch! <clears throat> so, we're pretty much here. We're just looking for parking at this point. Uh, and it's a good thing we came here early because most of the time you can't find parking right away. Well, bitch, we better. 600 feet, slight right to stay on Garden State Art Center. That's what I'm gonna do. 
That fickle bitch. Oh, is it parking right in front of the venue? Yes. It better be. Like to stay on guard and stay or is that just VIP parking? No, I think that's a VIP. Oh, that's gay. All right, premium. General parking, keep left. Yeah, because I remember um, the last time we went here, we had to walk like that whole like hill going up and stuff like that. I think we're still doing that. Yeah, walking. Oh boy. Oh my God. Position within parking. Keep right. In 800 feet, use any lane to take the ramp to Garden State Parkway. This I mean, one? I'm trying to remember. Like, use any lane I think to take I'm the trying ramp to. Garden fuck State you. Parkway, then merge onto Garden State Parkway. Like, am I going this way? This way. Yeah. Damn it. Why is it telling me to go that way? I don't know. Stupid fucking GPS bitch. And, oh, yeah, it's this parking right here. I think I gotta go around. Oh, you park anywhere over here. No, yeah. Which is good because it's most of the time fucking... Are they playing beer pong? Of course. Are we gonna follow the fucking plebs? No, just fucking park, park closest. Oh, um, well, actually, park to the end. Like, what do you mean to the end? Like, where the exit is? Right here, yeah. Like, right there, that spot, right there. Like, right here, with a tip. So that way... Just the tip. <laughs> Look, like... Well, I mean, these guys are fucking playing football. I don't need to hit my car. Yeah, I know, but still. You know why, though? So that way, when we leave, we could just go like that, go around. Right, 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 right. So, I believe this is where we're going to cut this part of the video for now. Yeah. So, we'll see you guys when we're sitting. Exactly. Probably do something at the end. Hopefully, there'll be enough lighting. I mean, if anything, we got... <laughs> Alright, see you guys in a little bit.